Day three down under dawned to a rainy morning in Melbourne, but also a celebration of Australia's Indigenous First Nations to open another exciting programme of top-class tennis. So it would be under the Rod Laver Arena roof when defending champion Rafael Nadal strode back out onto this famous court to face Mackenzie McDonald. But after a break in the opening game, the 27-year-old American could sense a famous victory. Absolutely phenomenal. Nadal had been struggling through injury and form through the second half of last year and the Spanish superstar was forced to recover an early break again in set two. But a few games later, a sight that every Nadal fan had dreaded. He definitely pulled up right there, Petch, no doubt whatsoever. Uh, I think we got a little... Yeah. Is it a hip flex or a hemi? That doesn't look good. After a lengthy medical timeout, Nadal admirably returned to battle on. It was too late to save the second set, but remarkably the third remained on serve until game 11. Game McDonald. McDonald strikes late in the third and it leaves him serving for the greatest win of his life. The break was secured and despite Nadal's injury, this game was a huge moment for Mackenzie McDonald. Mackenzie McDonald topples the defending champion here in Melbourne. If it is the end of seeing Rafael Nadal in Melbourne, it has been beautiful. It has been unprecedented. If it's not the end, it definitely feels like the beginning of the end. And whatever happens next, there will be no one like this man. There will never be another Rafael Nadal. Drama and emotion at the top of the men's draw. The women's number one, Iga Swiatek, faced Colombia's Camila Osorio for the first time. And the Polish superstar was aggressive from the off, racing to a four-love lead. Oh. Exceptional movement. I mean, that's too good. The Colombian world number 84 across the net was relishing her moment on the big stage. But again, Swiatek was ruthless in set oh, two. Good movement. Match points arrived after an hour and 24 minutes. Wraps it up in style, Igish Svantec. It was such a comfortable day in the office, Spioncek was already making dinner plans after the match. Felix Auger-Aliassime has the game to win Grand Slams, but when will it be his year? The 22-year-old Canadian faced Alex Molkan, who dramatically saw a former champion Stan Wawrinka in round one, and it seemed the Slovakian was in the mood for another big scalp. Too good. Too good. Auger-Aliassime conceded the opening two sets before the world number seven finally turned things around. Yeah. Good depth on the return. The match had been turned on its head, well in control by set four, and the Canadian's devastating forehand continued to find its mark. Oh, no way! It had been a lively cameo from Molkan at this year's Aussie Open, but Aussie Aliassime would complete another gritty win from a losing position. Match points arrived after just over three hours. He finishes with a flourish. Sixth seed Maria Sakkari faced qualifier Diana Schneider, who'd reached the second round playing on her Grand Slam main draw debut. And the 18-year-old was certainly not overawed by her superstar opponent. Oh. And it's scintillating Schneider, who catches the first set. With the first set secured, a potential upset was building, but Sakkari responded well in the second, a break ahead. And when her young rival fought back, the Greek star shone. Oh, how about that? What a way to save break point. The second set had been another grind, but an early break to the good in the decider. Sakkari continued to find the winners. It grabs the line and by the barest of margins. It had been a tough workout for the Greek dynamo. Schneider, a star of the future. But today, the victory was Sakkari's. Oh. What a win. What a gritty performance. 
There has been plenty of success for the USA's stars so far this year. The team claimed the inaugural United Cup in Sydney, where the Americans' leading lady Jess Pegula shone. The world number three's range of shot making on display against Alexandra Sasnovich. Well, Pegula just in charge of the points. Set one secured. There was no respite for the world number 38 when set two got underway. That's the early break once again for Jessica Pegula. Sasnovich, though, is a fighter. There were two breaks of serve each in a competitive second set. Sasnovich fights on and she has broken back. But in the resulting tiebreak, Pegula from Buffalo, New York, was all business. Pegula is through. Didn't have it all her own way through that second set, but the world number three into the second round. Francis Tiafo faced 17-year-old qualifier Shang Jun Shen, who became the first Chinese man to win a main draw match at the Australian Open on day one. But the American star was in no mood to prolong the teen stay. Another controlled, stylish performance from the 16th seed. Tiafo threw to round three in straight sets. 6-4, 6-4, 6-1, the final score. Another upset on this wet day three saw Ukrainian world number 39 Angelina Kalinina take down two-time Wimbledon champion Petra Kvitova in straight sets to reach the Australian Open third round for the first time, where she'll face another Czech Grand Slam winner in Barbara Kuchikova. Well, Yannick Sinner has safely progressed to the third round without dropping a set. The 21-year-old Italian looked comfortable in this first meeting with Argentina's Thomas Martin Echeverri.